Looks like I need some advanced.gg focus. Welcome to Price Pop. My name is Mike, and that's right. Today, we're going to review and talk about the latest and greatest two flavors of advanced.gg's focus gaming supplement. As of today, this is getting launched tomorrow. I'm filming this Tuesday, February, March 2nd, something like that. And we have this flavor coming out tomorrow, so you'll see this video. So advanced.gg, we've talked about it a while ago because this is the first clinically dosed gaming supplement. And the studies were done on modern gamers playing modern games. So there's been a lot of flavors out recently. And in February of 2021, I believe, GGB, Good Game Bro, came out with Strawberry Lemonade and the newest that is coming out hopefully today, the day I po post this on Wednesday, March 3rd, something like that. Cactus Kiwi Lime for Rick Hackus. So I, as you can tell, am not the biggest of gamers, but I am a supplement connoisseur and I love focus and energy supplements. And the original Focus V2 that we reviewed, I had the peach flavor. It was absolutely fantastic as an energy drink and a study and focus aid. But no, I didn't play video games and I'm not gonna pretend to. My buddy there uh, blow me his Tetris and his, uh, his Game Boy there, old school working Game Boy. Dude, some of those games are so addictive. So when we have a full, full, full tub of strawberry lemonade here. And so I, what I'm gonna do, in two scoops, you get a full clinical dose. I'm gonna do one scoop of each, which counts as a full clinical dose. And then we're gonna talk about the ingredients. Kiwi lime, possibly one of the first people on the internet to taste this flavor. Advanced.gg is doing really cool stuff. This is a gaming company made for gamers by gamers. Supplement formulators by day, gamers by night. Cactus Kiwi Lime going in the K3 cup. That's one. And we have blog posts discussing not only the Advanced.gg Focus Gaming Supplement, but also the ingredient driving the clinical studies inside New Level for Nutrition 21. They're the ones actually sponsoring this video. I love a supplement that doesn't have a lot of wasted space in it. Environmentally conscious, small, easy to ship, but you're gonna get fingers a little bit dirty. So, GGB Strawberry Lemonade was out first. Oh, so a lot of times what they do, when we're drinking these amino acid supplements in the, in the supplement industry, they use the lemonade to cover up the, the mask, to mask the amino acids on the back end because they can get a little bit like stale tasting and acidic. And you don't have to deal with that when you have a gaming supplement that doesn't need workout aminos. We got focus here. So this is actually way more strawberry than lemonade. Exactly what I want, but we can't always have that in some of the sports supplements. In the gaming supplements you can. Honestly, that's like 90% that's like strawberry, 10% lemonade. I wouldn't be afraid if you don't like lemonade. This is a strawberry supplement as far as I'm concerned. Really well flavored. Given the ingredient profile that we have here, we could have some fun with these. And that's why Advance has really good flavors on these. Okay, cactus kiwi lime, just out the door here. Whoa, that one's stronger. Whew. I'm not a lime guy. That is straight up. I'm gonna just say this, like 30% kiwi, 70% lime. This hits hard. If you need a flavor that's gonna smack you in the face, cactus got you. Wow. I can't stop drinking this though. I wanna figure out what's going on. There was a kiwi lime drink out there that they just pretty much nailed. I, I know I've had it before. I can't think of what it is. This is not my flavor system. But who, people who like citrus, who want like a punch of sweet and then a serious punch of citrus are gonna like that. I'm more on the GGB side of things. And that makes sense because Good Game Bro, who is very popular face, uh, on Facebook for streaming a lot of his games he's at, and he's big on sports games, Madden, and the uh, MLB game. I think he's even got a playable character on, uh, on MLB. Um, he is actually from Cleveland, Ohio, my hometown as well. So the shout out to GGB. I, I gotta say, I like your flavor better. And it's, it's the more easily acceptable flavor. I think if you're gonna go for Cactus Kiwi Lion, and the followers of Rick Hackis might understand this, but he's uh, he's kind of notorious. Uh, I, I, I followed him a little bit on Twitter, and his Twitter his Twitter 
let's say banter. He's got some bants. His Twitter banter is hilarious, and it's it's a little bit punchy, and it gets a little bit fun with his wife as well. So it's kind of it's kind of funny. But this drink is kind of what you'd expect from a cactus. It's gonna punch you. I keep drinking it. I'm, I, you know what? I, as much as I say I like the strawberry one better, it's gonna be this tub that I end up going through because it'll take me half a tub to figure out what it is that's driving it. And it might be like maybe there's a dash of salt in there too, a dash of cocktail. Oh, I don't know. It's it's strong. You you need to be ready for it, and you might want to water it down even more. Now let's go through these labels and everything, the profiles, because this is what's interesting. The world's first clinically dosed gaming supplement, and that is because of the Nutrition 21's new level NOO. LVL and you need 1.6 grams of it in the two scoop serving. So each scoop's got 800 milligrams. Uh, you gamers are usually smart fellows, so I didn't probably need to say that. And it's a very small tub. So this is one of those moments where I feel like I'm getting a little older and might need reading glasses, but I, I think I can deal with this. So you have a, a B and C vitamin complex. That's all cool. It kind of matches some of the energy drinks out there. In my opinion, we get so many B and C vitamins, but if you're not taking a multivitamin, you probably are gonna appreciate this. You have some biotin, which is good for skin support as well. It's a B vitamin. And then um, and then comes the new level. The first ingredient, 800 milligrams per scoop. And that's going to provide us with pretty, pretty much like a, a mind muscle gaming pump. Now, new, new level is based off another ingredient from Nutrition 21 called nitrosagene. It is a workout supplement. Way back in the day, L-arginine was the pre-workout supplement uh, ingredient of choice because L-arginine is the amino acid that helps you produce more nitric oxide. Nitric oxide expands the blood vessels and smooths out the muscle tissue, allowing you to get uh, more blood flow, lower blood pressure, and you get that pump in the gym. That's cool. Except for the problem is that arginine is not as bioavailable. So a lot of these supplements switched over to citrulline. Nutrition 21 figured out how to make it bioavailable, and they took this ingredient and Bought it to some, you know, stall and some uh, silica, and voila, they have an arginine that actually works the way we wanted it to. What does that have to do with gaming? Well, it turns out that the pumps and the blood flow that you get with the muscles when they're working out with this stuff, it works in, in your brain as well, and you get extra cerebral, cerebral blood flow as well, and it's an incredible ingredient. People who play games with this are gonna, are gonna enjoy it, it feels good, but if you go and work out afterwards, you're gonna feel even better because you're gonna get that pump as well. So the nitrosagene, which is the original silica-driven, silica-bound inositol arginine ingredient. Nitrosagene was at a 1.5 gram dose. Uh, even at 750 milligrams, there were some studies showing some efficacy, but you get pumps at 1.5 grams. With new level, they added a little bit more inositol, and that is a sugar that helps their brain function a little bit even better. And so they added a little bit more nootropic edge to it, studied it in gamers, and it turns out after seven days, they studied gamers who actually play modern games, and they tested it on modern games like Call of Duty and Madden and maybe NBA, one other game, um, they found that they had statistically improved performance. And so you can read all about that. So new level is the ingredient driving these claims. Now, we don't always need claims because sometimes people just want a good energy drink that's gonna feel good. And that's exactly what this stuff does. But in terms of actual clinical dosing, yeah, you gotta have 1.6 grams of new level and you have that in two scoops. Now after that, let me get my eyes adjusted. We have alpha GPC, it's long ingredient, alpha glycerol, phosphorocholine. This is a choline source. Choline helps your body, and it's found in eggs and meat and a lot of stuff, but not all y'all are eating enough eggs. You use this to generate more acetylcholine, which is known as the learning neurotransmitter. More acetylcholine gives you more of that mind connection, the mind muscle connection in the gym, with the mind but a gaming controller connection in the when you're gaming and everything, or some of you do in the keyboard thing like this. I'm not sure what, um, well, yeah, if we're playing with, yeah, I'm out of my depth right here, aren't I? Yeah, for console or PC. I guess I would be a PC guy because I have computers and stuff all over here. A lot of servers. We, yeah, we have a lot of servers, but our servers are in gaming stuff. So anyway, within on top of that though, so Alpha GPC is a very bioavailable form of choline. Love choline donors, they make it, I feel good and focused all the time, even if I'm eating a lot of eggs, which I do, I eat like six eggs a day pretty much. But then on top of that, they add even more choline in the form of choline bitartrate. Now choline bitartrate is a little bit of a lower, uh, lower cost choline, so they're, they're saving a couple nickels there, but also, I, I don't know why. I have, and many times we've, we've noticed this over the, over the course of our nootropic supplement, focus supplement testing, the choline blends feel better than going all in on one choline. I love it when it's alpha GPC and choline bar tartrate, or if it's city choline and choline bar tartrate. I don't know why. And bar tartrate is uh, bound to tartaric acid, which also helps with the flavoring. Doesn't hurt there. 
but for some reason, the choline blends actually feel better for me. And so I always am excited to see someone's new choline blend. Everyone's got a little bit of a different take on it. Advanced GG is going with 300 milligrams of alpha GPC in a full two scoop serving and 250 milligrams of choline bitartric in a full two scoop serving. Now, alongside that, I should have mentioned right off the bat, natural caffeine sources, 200 milligrams of caffeine. So if I finish these and I likely will want to, it's like three o'clock, so it's getting a little bit late for me to do that. I should do. I'm gonna get 200 milligrams of caffeine from natural sources, which is good. It's not just caffeine anhydrous, which we can synthetically make in a lab and throw it in there. We just seem to feel that the natural caffeine sources kind of just give you a little bit slower release, a little bit of a more, I don't wanna say natural release, but a little bit less of a up and down crash. And that's what's, what's nice. But what also helps prevent that up and down crash is the next ingredient, L-theanine. Found in green tea leaves, it is a calming agent that is used to kind of take the edge off the caffeine. But there's also synergy and there's studies showing at this ratio, I believe too, at a two to one ratio, 200 milligrams of caffeine, 100 milligrams of L-theanine, that there are nootropic synergistic benefits where the both work better than together than they would alone. Kind of like one of your clans in the games. Was that, was that a proper reference? All right, and so after that, we have, um, we have some ginseng extract. We're seeing so much awesome research on ginseng, whether it's like clearing out old cells, like senescence activity, like some really cool stuff that we've been getting into, or just that um, the adaptogenic feel where it kind of just regulates certain like hormone levels and brain levels and everything. If you're too high on this or too low on that, like ginseng doesn't always do the same thing. It kind of levels and regulates. So it's another feel good ingredient. And then finally, a little bit of black pepper extract, which you're not gonna taste. That's actually here to enhance the uh, bioavailability of the supplement and some of the ingredients will get absorbed better uh, within the liver by using that. And so that is um, just a very small five milligram dose in two of these. You're not gonna taste any black pepper, but sometimes you stick your big honking nose in here. No. Okay, sometimes I get a little sneeze fat factor going in from that black pepper extract. They're covering it really well with these flavors. And finally, after that, we have, we've already increased our choline through two different sources, alpha GPC and choline bitartrate. What we haven't done is work to keep the choline around long enough, but actually they did do that because they included huperzine A in here. And it's from a plant known as tooth club, tooth club moss. And what it does is it is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. What? Well, that, what that means is that it is going to downregulate the, the enzyme that actually breaks down your acetylcholine, that learning neurotransmitter we're trying to boost. It's not gonna do it forever, but it's gonna do it long enough so that you keep that choline around a little bit longer. All in all, 200 milligrams of caffeine is a damn good feel good supplement and is the world's first clinically dosed gaming supplement because they were the first to use Nutrition 21's new level. I love that peach flavor, but quite, hon <laughs> quite honestly, I don't know, GGB strawberry lemonade, it almost should be like strawberry should be the big font and then lemon would be a little font because it's really not that much lemon. And so anyone who's looking for like a strawberry flavored supplement, there's not enough of them out there really. This is the easy go-to I think almost everyone will like. So today is the day that this is all launching. That's the day we're posting this video, which is actually filmed yesterday, if that makes any sense. And we're extremely excited about advanced.gg's Focus 2.0, world's first clinically Dose Gaming Supplement. I've said that like six times. I love to say it because we're big fans of New Level here. And Ben, the other guy, always gets to do the gaming supplements. He does game a little bit more. Me, I got my Tetris. Where, where's it at? Oh, I got Dr. Mario. Dude, look at this. Look at this. You can check out pricehall.com slash advanced GG. We'll make the links up here. And we have uh, links in the description you're watching on YouTube to read about the new level gaming supplement and um, uh, the studies that Nutrition 21 put together. And they're not just an ingredient supplier, they're a research company. And I love that we're not talking about focus supplements that help old elderly people or focus supplements that help golfers, which is cool and all, that's great. But we want, if you're gonna talk about gaming supplements, you actually need to use an ingredient that was tested on gamers. People wanna have someone speak their own language. And that's what's happening here with Nutrition 21's new level and advanced.gg, they speak that language because they are gamers there. I don't know how they run a business and play games at the same time. I struggle to do one thing in life, but you know what, these guys are kings and that's why they're awesome. Thanks for watching, peace. Welcome to Price Plow.